asked, how excited are you to have been given the chance to come back to Party Down after so many years? Um, extremely excited. We've been trying to do this for ever since they canceled us the first time. So we are thrilled that, to find ourselves in this position. And then when you sat down to do the third season, what were your ambitions and did you achieve them? Um, part two, uh, to be determined. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> our ambitions were, you know, to try and, you know, be true to the spirit of the show and what we always liked about the first two seasons, um, while also, you know, being honest about the fact that 12 years had passed and these people were all 12 years older, had lived 12 years of their lives off camera, and that we were just kind of picking up uh, in, you know, ideally lives that had continued as opposed to just kind of redoing the same, sh you know, a third season of the same show that we, you know, ended 12 years ago. So hopefully, uh, you know, the, you know, the goal being that people will appreciate it and, you know, the fans of the show will be able to appreciate it both as, you know, the old gang back together, all that sort of stuff, but also, you know, feel that it just kind of is also uh, its own thing, that it's, uh, you know, it, it's an evolution rather than just kind of a regurgitation, if you will. I see. Um, and then the show has a hugely loyal fan base. How has your experience been sort of talking to them about coming back? Um, gosh, you know, I most of our interaction has been doing these like panels and things like that, you know, that we've done a few of over the years. And, you know, they've always been, you know, really lovely and really supportive and really interested. Um, you know, I think just the, you know, and so the response from them that, you know, this is actually happening has been, you know, very enthusiastic and really wonderful. I mean, you know, we really owe this, you know, very compact but dedicated fan base to sort of keeping the show alive all these years and keeping it, you know, kind of in the public memory. So, you know, we wouldn't be here if, it, you know, doing a season three if it weren't for them in the first place. So, um, you know, we are, you know, we are very loyal to them as well. <laughs> And then streaming and on-demand television has boomed in the last few years. Do you think that Party Down has benefited from that? Uh, absolutely. I think, you know, the timing of when the show first aired with the fact that it was kind of really at the kind of dawn of that period where streaming and the idea of just a, a library that was always accessible so that certain shows, if you, you heard about it or you were interested, you could find it somewhere and it wasn't just something that was kind of lost to time and history or whatever. Um, so, you know, just the just the fact that it was kind of on Netflix for a while at the very beginning, and then, you know, it's been on other streaming services, you know, it's been on Hulu here, it's been, you know, around. So I think, you know, it's allowed anyone who want, has heard about it or is interested to sort of find it, discover it, you know, if they like it, they can spread the word about it. And so, it, you know, it's been instrumental, I think, in allowing this to happen, certainly, because without it, you know, I don't think, you know, I, I don't think our audience is huge enough or anything like that to sort of give us that huge groundswell of like, oh, we're going to sort of bring back this immensely popular show that people remember, but that isn't really available to be seen very easily. So the fact that we've always just kind of been out there in, you know, one form or another, you know, has allowed kind of this little following to kind of grow. Great. Um, and then reuniting the main cast, Bar Lizzie, must have been a really exciting kind of experience for you. Um, it, no, it was delightful. And like I said, we've always been trying to do this. We've always, you know, kept in touch with the cast and everything. And, you know, we've all, you know, all of us have all been kind of rooting for it to happen. So the fact that it finally did, and we got to just kind of show up one day, you know, in one of our little grungy kitchen sets and actually just pick up where we left off was fantastic. Amazing. Um, and then what was the first day back on set shooting like for you? Um, it was, you know, it, it was funny because it was, you know, it was 12 years later, but it was almost exactly the same. You know, everyone slipped into their, you know, characters just like that. Um, you know, it, it, it was like 
it was literally like riding a bicycle or whatever, just getting back on and just going. You know, we had we brought back kind of one of our directors from the first season to direct the pilot, and you know, all the gang was back and everything. So it was, you know, very natural. Nobody forgot what we were doing. We all just kind of jumped right back into it. Amazing. Um, and then final question. So if you could have any major star come in as part of the team or the host of a party, who would be good to add to the family? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> just because he's a favorite of mine and uh, also of my dad's and I could tell him about it. Uh, uh, I'm going to say Jeff Bridges, but I didn't think about it <laughs> beforehand. So that's off the top of my head. But yeah, I, you know, obviously there's a million people that we would love to bring in just because, you know, it's it's a great time for us to bring anybody in who wants to just get weird. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice.